Hey guys. Here we are at Pompeii. You can see they're restoring it right behind us. They're uh, apparently got about, uh, I think about a third of it uh, unveiled, but they're still working on it. Uh, Pompeii was buried by ash in 79 AD. When Mount Vesuvius erupted. And uh, we're gonna go on a tour right now, so. Let's go. Let's see what we can find. You can see the scaffolding they have set up there to restore it. Uh, but a lot of it is uh, still buried, as you can see there. I think our guide said there's something like um, 20 acres still that they haven't uncovered. Yeah, I think you're right. Got a little rain today, but we are not going to let that spoil our fun. Guys, we're here in November, which is the very, very end of the tourist season. So there's practically no one here. And that's been the case with the Acropolis and everywhere else we've been. So the weather is honestly not that bad. If you're considering this trip, maybe do it a little later in the year. Yeah, and it's probably even less crowded today because of the rain, I would think. Temperatures in the 50s Fahrenheit right now. It's really not bad other than the little bit of drizzle. It's also a weekday, so I would assume it's busier on the weekend. Oh, sure, yeah. Behind us is the theater here in Pompeii. You can see the walls are mostly burnt down, but there's the theater that we're headed to right now. The interesting thing about theaters versus amphitheaters, which we learned the other day in Cyprus, is um, ones that are built on a flat surface are considered a theater. An amphitheater is built on a hill and uses the natural geography to make their job easier. So the Romans like to build theaters, but the Greeks like to build amphitheaters, which, if you think about it, kind of makes them a little bit smarter because they have to do less work. Here are some workers right now are restoring some columns. Here you can see the main uh, area of Pompeii. Right now there's a rainbow, hope you can see it, right over Pompeii. And it's been raining today, looks like we just caught it. And over there, right over there is the end of the rainbow. So we're going to go look for a pot of gold now. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're in Ireland at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find. Some uh, Italian leprechauns. And... There's another shot of the theater. And you can see all the other areas from up here on top of a hill at the moment. Let's see what else we can find. Here we see some more workers doing some Working. restoration. Where they're moving the, uh, oh, this place looks massive. There's a couple thousand people that lived here, I want to say, and that's a lot back then. This one looks just like it could have been a, um, House. Like a family shrine. Oh, they right. always have a shrine to the gods in the like the main room of the home. Oh, it's better, much better, I guess, than I had of a fireplace. I think you're right. That semicircle area down there is called the orchestra. That's where the chorus would be during plays. The actual players would be up on the flat part of the stage, but the singers and dancers would be here in the front. And then these tiers would be where the audience sits, obviously. And the acoustics, as you can hear, are pretty good. <laughs> Guys, 
guy's got a good set of lungs on him. So back in the day, guys, this was an area for washing, and they would use either the water or specially prepared urine to clean things in this pool right here. Specially prepared urine? Uh-huh. Back in ancient times, they, um, they would use that to tan hides. You save your urine, and it would get all of the um, bits of hair and fiber out of the hide, and you would end up with a softer, finished product. Well, I guess the... Acid or ammonia. ammonia, yeah. But you have to let it sit for about a month, I want to say, before it's ready to be used for anything like that. Some old pottery here. Huh. Is that like the original cast iron skillet? <laughs> Looks like copper to me. Or bronze, perhaps. I know there's some laurel wreaths on the wall in there, which is generally a symbol of victory, so that may have been some kind of special area for the athletes or something, maybe. Huh. Yeah. mosaic took some time. Yeah. If you guys want to see the rooms we were just in, please note that they close at 4.20. Oh, this is what the slaves got to sleep on. Here we go, guys. This is a view of Mount Vesuvius from Pompeii walking right towards it right now you can see it there in the distance kind of a cloudy day it's been raining but uh, pretty good shot of it if you've liked this video please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing thanks for watching